At a training session recently, a question was asked uh, about adding a test student to a grade book. Uh, this is a great way for you to view how uh, assignments are going to appear and how your grade book is going to interact uh, with the assignments that you add uh, and whatnot. Uh, so if you notice, if I go to uh, my test course that I have here uh, and I go to my grades, you're going to notice that one of the students that I have in here uh, is in fact a test student. Okay. Uh, and if I back out of here and go to the faculty um, resource course that we have set up and go to my gradebook, you will notice that there's not currently a test student listed in that course. So how do you get that test student to show up? See, no test student here. Uh, the answer is actually pretty simple. Uh, if I back out of this and go to my course dashboard here, okay, notice that there's a difference between the global dashboard and the, and the course dashboard. Make sure you're at the course dashboard uh, and click on your settings. Now, all that you have to do to make this work is to click on student view here. Okay. Uh, now, this is something that you should be doing anyways uh, prior to the beginning of your course, uh, and that is viewing your course from the student's perspective. Once you do that, it automatically creates a test student for you in your gradebook. Okay, so uh, after you're done looking around and making sure that your course is set up properly, go ahead and click on Leave Student View down here at the bottom. And you can go back now to your grades. And when you scan all the way down to the bottom, you're going to notice that you have a test student that has automatically been added. Uh, and some of you might say, well, that's great. I'm glad that I can do that. Now, how do I get rid of that test student? Uh, that takes a little bit more work, but still a re relatively simple process. Um, to get rid of that test student, now what you're going to have to do is go back to your settings. Once you're in your settings, you're going to have to go to uh, your course sections here in your faculty area or your enrollments. And you're going to have to scroll through uh, until you find that particular student that you want to remove. In this case, it's the test student. I click on view more and I find the test student. Click the X there to remove. Yes, I'm sure. And just like that, we have added and we have removed our test student. I just want to go back and make sure that the test student has been removed. Scroll to the bottom and we notice that there is no longer a test student there. So uh, if you have any questions on anything else or if you'd like me to go over this uh, a little bit further, please do not hesitate to email me, kevin.wagonmaker at montcalm.edu. Uh, have a great day.